regarding nerve damage uh, from surgery, that's a fairly broad topic. Uh, we know what nerves are. Nerves are the uh, tissues that carry electrical signals that allow people to feel and allow muscles to twitch and move and the like. Uh, when a person undergoes surgery and, you, and you're thinking about uh, how it is that you can avoid nerve injury, uh, it's almost like talking about, it's like two different languages, okay? The first language deals with damage that that, that damage of nerves as a result of the actual procedure that you're doing. What do I mean by that? I'm going to give you some examples. Uh, let's say that a person uh, has a hip replacement where, where, where you go in and you have, you take out the old bone and saw off the top of the, of the, of the femur and you know, you're basically putting in titanium and, and steel uh, in this socket. In that process to get in the prosthesis, you necessarily have to elongate or, or pull the leg. And sometimes that causes damage to what's called the obturator nerve. It's a big nerve that, that basically runs up in your hip. You know, that's an example of how doing a particular procedure could cause damage to the nerve or a nerve. Another example is if somebody's having some type of facial surgery. There's some nerves that run on, on the face, the seventh facial nerve. Is there so let's say somebody's having some kind of uh, surgery, bony surgery on the face, and then after the surgery, uh, the whole face doesn't move anymore because the doctor has, uh, quite frankly, cut the facial nerve uh, accidentally. You know those things happen, and that is medical negligence. You know when 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 doctors are assigned with with, with going in and performing specific surgeries, uh, they necessarily have to be aware of the anatomy. Most people think that it's just you know second nature. You know, how can a doctor who's been through four years of medical school, they've gone through all this training, how could they actually just blow it in terms of not identifying properly the nerves that you know are necessarily associated with a procedure? Well, it happens. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Those are some of the easier cases, in my opinion, in medical malpractice, because it's rare that you have a situation where if there's damage, then that necessarily means that there was negligence. Those cases come close to it because oftentimes with the particular surgeries, everybody knows that you have to identify these nerves before you move forward. So, so that's one type of, of nerve damage. There's another type also, this, is, this being the, the second language, is when it's due to positioning. I mean, if you have a prostate surgery and, and, and you're doing it robotically and somebody's upside down for six hours, you have to move and reposition the, the patient. You've got to make sure that elbow pads are in the right spot, that there are no pressure points that are basically putting constant pressure on nerves that could cause permanent nerve injury. That's another situation. So those are the two scenar scenarios that you typically see dealing with nerve injuries. Uh, one, again, when, when there's injury due to misadventure of the surgeon, they cut a nerve that everybody knows basically is associated with the procedure. And the second is more positional more positional and uh, you, you know you, 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 peep, you think about it you're, you're unconscious you're helpless uh, you're subject to, to, to the maneuvers of the surgeon and the surgical team and it's their responsibility and duty to put you in pads and to put you in a position that's not putting chronic pressure on nerves where after the surgery you come up and, and wake up and you can't move a leg or an arm but if you or any of your family members you know, undergo surgery and you come away with it with something you totally didn't didn't expect at a minimum, allow somebody like me, an MDJD, or somebody who's got some kind of medical uh, acumen and medical experience to look closely at the medical records to tell you what happened.